Hi, my name is Hank Horkoff. I'm the, one of the co-founders of ChinesePod.com. Uh, can you tell us uh, something about your goal? What is the goal for? Um, just to talk about how you can use technology to make the learning of Chinese easier. Um, you know, learning Chinese is hard enough as it is for a Westerner with the many characters and the sounds. Um, so we feel that we can use technology like podcasting and you know blogging and social web tools um, to make it as easy as possible for users. Yes. Yeah, so when did you start with this project? Uh, we started in the fall of 2005. Um, I come from a technology background, and my partners they run an English school in Shanghai. So at that time, podcasting was becoming very popular. Um, so we just had the idea of combining language training and podcasting together, and it's just taken off since then. So it's now just skyrocketing in success. Uh, we've been very fortunate to get a lot of good publicity um, in very popular magazines and newspapers around the world. And uh, yeah, we've continued to build out the service, and uh, we've been very fortunate. And uh, are you thinking about uh, doing business uh, outside? Uh, I mean, China is not your only. Uh, Field of uh, business. Um, right now, we, we do all our development work and production work in Shanghai, but our market is global. Um, you know, most of our market is in the English-speaking countries, whether it's U.S., U.K., England. Um, but we also have people here in, in, in Amsterdam and Holland as well. So we're lucky to really have you here in Holland because you, uh, you don't come here very often. Um, no, not too often. But it's a beautiful city, I should. Yes. And uh, uh, what made you decide to? Events. I mean, this must be one of the many uh, events uh, in this uh, field. Um, there are. Uh, this is a very interesting uh, event using creative uh, thinking and technology. So it just seems to be a good fit with what we do. I, I think the, the big issue is, you know, as China rises in the world, is how does the rest of the world communicate with all these, um, you know, brilliant creative Chinese people out there? And so um, many of the other speakers, um, they're developing tools to help um, just, you know, communication with. You know, Westerners who maybe don't speak Chinese um, with Chinese people themselves, just to help them get a, get through life in Shanghai. Uh, for us, we're taking a little bit longer approach. Um, we're trying to promote the study of Chinese, um, so it's a much longer, a year year long process um, where you need to learn much more about the grammar and the vocabulary. So, at the end of the day, I think we all have the, the same interests and in just kind of um, promoting intercultural communication um, between two two societies. You seem very enthusiastic. So, if you only have 20 minutes, I don't think you have enough time to uh, tell the whole history of your company. Well, I'll have to do my best and simplify it. But okay. uh, so, is there any other way that people can uh, learn more about your organization? Um, for sure. Anyone interested in learning Chinese, I would highly suggest going to Chinese Pod as an iPod dot com, Chinese Pod dot com. And we offer hundreds of free lessons, um, so it's a very accessible way for people just to try and sample Chinese and see if it's right for them. Free lessons. So how do you make your money if you offer it? Uh it's a, it's a very good question. Um, we provide lessons for free, um, but where we make our money is through uh, subscription services for other other services. You know, for instance, um, for many people, they need to see characters in the language to study, so we charge people for PDF transcripts um, at one level of subscription. And at our highest level of subscription, we offer a counseling service for students, uh, where we'll have a teacher in Shanghai either talk to by telephone or by Skype uh, for 10 minutes every day to help provide feedback on speaking and so forth. So, so your partners are, it's not just a uh, Business to business, uh, it's also to um, our, our largest market is 25 to 45 um, year old adults. Um, many are in corporations, uh, especially with growing business interests in China. Um, we find the younger market is a little bit different. Um, they tend not to study alone, but they study in groups. Um, so we've had to tailor our product a bit just to better suit a classroom environment.